Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. Today is the unboxing of perhaps the most controversial pickup from Origins 2021, Desert Fox Deluxe. I know that a lot of people have had negative stuff to say about this game. And, you know, for all I know, they could be right. But I'm also hearing conflicting things that say that um, while there are some issues with it, um, the degree to which those are serious problems has been overstated. And I am tired of not being able to intelligently participate in that discussion. So it was one of my top goals to pick this game up at Origins 2021, bought from the hands of Doc himself. So we are in a sort of weird landscape format box. Otherwise, it is a standard, industry standard two-inch box. Now, this, of course, is a new edition of the new edition of Desert Fox. So s and Magazine number 300 included the game Desert Fox Deluxe, which is an expansion of previous games from the old classic s and SPI days. The games were Desert Fox and Trail of the Fox. And then there was an expansion published somewhere, I think in Moves, um, called Fox Killed. So what we have here is there's relatively few North... There's a lot of North Africa games, but relatively few of them handle the entire campaign from 1940 to 1943. So you have the traditional Western Desert area right here. You have the retreat by the Germans all the way back up to Tunisia. You have the, the post-torch landings and Kasserine uh, Pass, Battle for Tunisia type of situation. So you could play through all the way to 1943. And even very big... Um, I don't know about campaign for North Africa, but like DAC does not cover this. DAC covers the whole Western Desert area. Um, and well, some people might feel with some justification that it is the definitive game on that topic. It nevertheless doesn't cover Tunisia. There's other games to cover Tunisia, and that's fine. But um, so the first thing we have, it's interesting here. Okay, so the first thing we have is this bag of like four baggies. I'm not sure what good that even is, and two six-sided dice, which are very standard six-sided dice. Uh, we have this pack of cards, okay? I have not... I've seen the inside of this, but I haven't really taken a look at it. Um, okay, so these are single-sided cards. It looks like these might be reinforcement... Pat, uh, sort of reinforcement bundles put in play by AX... AXC19. Play at start, play at start, play at start. Okay. I'm not sure how you use these cards. Very interesting. That's very interesting. You can definitely set these up on a table. Now there's a super weird map layout here. And we get this sort of huge horse rubber band. I'm not sure I've seen a rubber band like this in a war game either. And I'm, I'm quite sure we're not keeping that. Um... Except possibly for now, maybe I'll make a slingshot out of it or something and just use the silicone bands that I like to use for war game cards here. But we have a big, there's a big stack of these. I'm curious to see how that works. All right, we have one booklet, two booklets, three booklets. Let's look at the booklets next. So one booklet is Campaign Analysis, The Rommel Factor, The War in North Africa, 40 to 43, by Chris Perello, who I think is the designer here as well. This is the historic... I really do like that decision games, at least in their boxed games. And I mean, I guess you get it in their S&T games too. It's just in the magazine. Um, they give you this big thing with this whole actually really nice full color book that containing historical background and details and all kinds of stuff um information on the aircraft uh this is full color too here's a little thing on, on montgomery when montgomery comes in here's some details on the light tanks africa cleared very high production values on this booklet and it is a 32 page historical booklet um really nice really nice package um, set that aside for now. Here is the support booklet. I don't know what this means. Uh, do we mean playbook? No, we do not. Okay, so what we have here is developer's notes. Looks like we have some additional, uh, commentary. Yeah, these are all still developer's notes, section by rule section. That's very interesting. Apparently there are events in here, and I'm pretty sure that's unique to this edition. 
or at least to, um, I don't know if it's unique to this boxed edition. I don't know if it was uh, in the ST300 version. The ST300 version was very well received. Um, it, it seemed like a slam dunk to do a boxed version of this. Um, I didn't get in on the ST300 version when I had the chance, and then it, you know, it was suddenly going for $150, and I was un unwilling to do that. Um, here's some orders of battle. So, whole bunch of, of interesting detail here as well. Here's also counter comparison of this version of the game versus the original SPI counters. Certainly the new ones look nicer and are easier to read. So that's interesting. That's a feature I've never really seen before. I really do want to dig into this game. Um, there are a lot of scenarios. Are, are those in this book? Did I pass them? I don't see them in this book. Uh, they might be in this book. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's the case. And and here's the, the main rule book, which is weirdly titled Instructions, like it's from Ikea. Um, and what we have here is a, what feels like a 40-some page book. 48-page book on quite thick paper, matte finish, full color. Uh, print is relatively small, but there's also a fair amount of white space, so it's it's not as dense as you might think. This, of course, has a super weird map layout, um, which you might have trouble fitting on a reasonable table footprint, but I think you can stage it so that you can always split it, of course. Um, okay, and we get these cards which I guess we'll, we'll talk about in a future video. And we do have scenarios here. So let's, let's take a, let's, without doing a rules overview, which would be outside the scope of an unboxing video anyway, let's, page 35 is where the scenarios start. Scenario one is Fox Killed, maps C and W. And this is gives you the game turn numbers rather than the actual dates. I'd prefer to have the actual dates in there as well. But what can you do? O'Connor's War, Sun and Bloom, Desert Fox, Desert War, Run for Tunis, Trail of the Fox, Tunisian Campaign. And that's one of the things that attracted me to this, is you can do the Western Desert game, or the Tunisia game, or the whole thing. Uh, there's, a, there's a strong scenario selection here. Uh, that is something that we do not always see from decision games. It does appear to be a criticism I cannot make of this particular game. And here is an illustrated example of play, which is really good. And I think there's another one in the support book, too, isn't there? Am I, am I on dope? It's possible. Interestingly, this is on a different paper than the, the rule book. Um, yeah, I'm, I am nuts on that. There is no... Ex the extended example of play is in here. Um, that's a thing you can't really ever have enough of, if you ask me. All right. And we have... We're going to do the maps last, because there's tons of them. Uh, this even says... Uh, six game maps. I'm not sure how that breaks down, though. So we're going to find out. All right. We have what looks like two counter sheets, two of two. Um, I mean, certainly, these are on a medium weight white core stock. Uh, typical of decision from a couple of years ago. Their more recent games are on thicker stock. Um, we have a relatively small number of markers and quite a few units. Uh, these would be the Germans. These are presumably the Italians. Um, this sort of charming salmon color would be the Commonwealth. And presumably these guys are the Americans. Don't see free French. Uh, here's your, here's your French. Not sure who breaks down. Here's the Vichy French. Those are probably your free French. Okay. So decent size game, but I mean, two counter sheets. This would be, um, uh, 280 times two. So 560 counters. So not a small game, but you know, I've got bigger too. Here's the player aids, and I guess there's some problems with the player aids, which we're not going to talk about because we'll, we'll again we'll we'll touch on those in a future video. Um, these are on a what I would call a light card stock, and immediately I notice, and this is something I've seen in other decision games in the last year or two, is although this is a cup, this is three or four years old, I think at this point. Um, 
there's only one copy of the player aids and i think that's cheap considering the the boxed priced costs that are being asked of these games um i think we could use uh two copies of the player aids i mean they're not super fancy or anything all right so here is part of egypt here's map uh, so we can see this is a half size map map w western desert and then inside map w western desert are all these other folios um including this strategic display which is a looks like a four panel type of thing which of course i have it upside down because that's how i roll which gives us the sort of view of the entire thing from your western desert area to your you know fighting withdrawal area up to your torch tunisia area um and some displays for moving around to various places including italy and so forth in there um here is a half size map for libya well it's not even half size this is um eight and a half by 22. Uh, like i said there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of weird map footprint in this um i i think you could get it all on two two and a half foot by eight foot folding tables with no difficulty and and it, it might be it might be com more easily compactable than that maps by joe youst by the way i really do like joe's map art a lot i find it um nice and clear yet not without character there's another half-sized map of tunisia proper what's the scale on these well it's not uh it's not five miles per hex i can tell you that there's map c Cyrenasia with benghazi parts other parts of libya here's a here's a crete off map box all right so um Desert Fox Deluxe. Uh, I look forward to doing something with this. I really want to study it a little more closely and get a sense of what the issues are and how serious I feel those issues are. Um, I have heard both good things about it, uh, both about this edition and the previous magazine edition and about the SPI originals, which seem to hold up fairly well. And that's why we, you know, we saw this. Um, and, uh, the, you know, the, the downside of, of it certainly has its detractors and people who had issues with it as well. I'd like to get a sense of how, how significant I think those issues are. Um, I am probably a relatively forgiving consumer in this respect. I am willing to work with a game that I think has a lot of potential to some extent. There is, I, I do have limits. Um, so in that sense... Uh, I have some uh, some significant hopes for Desert Fox Deluxe. So hopefully you have found this information and video valuable. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do check out the Patreon, Ko-Fi, and merch store if you would like to help support the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy wargaming.